I had a public transportation adventure with my family. I'm Lucia from Orno, Maine. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today's episode is brought to you by Catulas, the guys with the goods. Goods like the Gator Guard. Good gosh, I wasn't expecting that. This link is a floating alligator head that you can put in a body of water on your property that keeps away geese, uh, ducks, other pests, and I think it keeps away children also. Do you have to wear it on your head and then run the geese off? or No, you just set it in the water and it floats. And you can also put it on the wall. If you don't have a body of water, because we don't, you just put it on the wall and it's like, I killed a gator, look at it. It's got jewel eyes. It's plastic. Yeah. It's a rubberized, plasticized gator. Let me tell you the story. Very rare. About the time I did this. Thanks for joining us today. Good mythical morning. Oh, me. Um, I'm, I'm interested to hear about this expedition that you took into transportation. But yep. let me preface that by saying, my son Lincoln and I are getting into Queen. They have a song about bicycling. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to now, ride my I did take the public transportation system. It did not involve a bicycle, though. Well, no, it didn't. There are public uh, shareable bikes in some cities. Like I don't San think Francisco. Los Angeles has those yet. So we didn't do that. But we've been here a year in Los Angeles or more than a year now. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, guys, we live in the city. It's time to experience the city like a lot of people have to experience the city. And that's, let's make this a public transportation day. And so what we decided we were going to do is we were going to go from our home we're going to use we, all public transportation, either walking or public transportation. And the four of us, my wife and two kids and I, are going to go all the way to Union Station, which is like the huge hub in the center of Los Angeles where everyone in the world comes and goes. And we're going to get out, we're going to walk around, and then we're going to come back and we're going to say, we did it. We did public transportation. And it looks like you did it. At least you're back. I'm, I'm back. I don't know how far you got, but I can tell that you're back in one piece. Now, first of all... Congratulations. Uh, I want to go ahead and acknowledge the fact that in one sense, in one sense, I kind of feel like it was a little, what I did was a little demeaning. I'm going to go ahead and admit that it's just like, okay, here's the suburban family getting on public transportation to see how it is for the people who have to use public transportation on a daily basis. To actually get places. Now, did you speak to your kids and wife in public like this? I said, come on, that, kids. That would make it even worse. Let's go. Hey, look, there's other people on public transportation, and they're just using it to get places. Yeah. Poor but, people. Yeah, but so I wanted it to be the kind of thing that, like, kids, that, you know, for, really, I want you to appreciate the fact that, you know, your mom and dad, we have a car, we get around. But also, you know, public transportation in, is a good thing just... In, in theory, more people should be using it. If you have a place to, to go from point A to point B in a city and public transportation can get you there, it's good for all kinds of reasons for you to use that. In Los Angeles, the public transportation system isn't like New York. It can't get you everywhere. You kind of have to, it, it takes a long time. You got to get to the metro line and that kind of thing. But we're like, let's just do it. So I get out. First of all, I'm like, well, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where the nearest bus stop is for my house, right? Mm -hmm. So, because there's no metro near your house, right? But there, it's actually all called the metro. The whole thing is oh, called really? LA Metro. But you've got the bus and you've got the train. Oh, okay. So, but you just go onto the to the site and you're just like, here's where I'm at and here's where I want to go. And then it says, all right, you need to go to this bus stop. This is when the next bus is coming. It tells you like exactly down, like the bus will be there in 14 minutes, like that kind of. Yeah, yeah. So they've got it down to a science, down to the minute. And then you're going to take it to this particular place. You're going to get off, and then you're going to get on the red line, which is like a subway. You're going to take the subway down to Union Station. So I'm like, okay, we can do this. First thing, you had, I had to get on the bus. So I'm sitting there waiting, the family waiting. It, we were kind of treating this like a Disney World shuttles experience. You know what I'm saying? It, okay. It, yep. it, and it was You take the shuttle to the tram, and then the tram to the Magic Kingdom. It was painfully obvious that we were just experiencing public transportation for the sake of the experience, hmm. and not like to get to the job sort of situation. Mm -hmm. Because here I am, where are the family? We have the kids, and we have a stroller that we've got to like fold up, and eh, eh. it's very Disney You're like taking pictures of the bus before you get on it? Oh, I'm taking pictures of the kids while they're sitting on the bus. Like, <laughs> kids, what do you think? I mean, yeah, and, and I, of, you know, I realize this. Kind you, of embarrassing. You, so... But the first thing you got to do after you get your family onto the bus is then you have to pay. And I've ne 
never ridden the bus in Los Angeles before. And I haven't ridden the bus very much ever. And so I'm like, what do I, what do I, where do I put the money? What do I do? First of all, I think you put it in the driver's mouth. You don't. There's a little thing right there next to the driver. He doesn't like say, you put it in there, sir. Welcome to Disney World. He's just like, he expects you to know what's going on. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, I've got a $5 bill. You know, I put it in there and I'm like, okay, where's the change? Because it's one fifty per person and only yeah. the, the, the three of us have to pay because Shepard's free because he's under five. Okay. Where's the change? And he's just kind of looking at me like, you get 50 cents change. Doesn't give change. The machine does not give change. You it was have, a machine? Yeah. And he doesn't, and he, the bus driver, this, he doesn't care. He's just like, in a second, they're going to figure out that it doesn't give change, but I'm going to wait for him to figure that out. And he was right there. Oh, as close as I am to you. I'm like, well, did he do? Because <laughs> you seem mentally, he did that. He mentally gave a giddy up, yeah. get back there, get to the back of the bus. Yeah. So I went 50 I, extra cent for tours. Once I realized that I just gave him a 50%, or I gave LA Metro a 50 a 50 cent tip, Yeah. I was like, okay, well, we got to get exact change from here on out. <laughs> so we go and we sit in the back, we take the pictures, we did the video. What's it like to be on the public transit, kids? Were there other people on the bus? They were all up in the front. Oh. Because we're like doing the whole thing. We're like, let's go get in the back of the bus and sp so we can see everything. And they're like, I'm going to sit in the front so I can get yeah. out quickly and right. get to my job. And I use this as a legitimate form of transportation. So we get to the metro station. And this is where we have to go down into the earth. It actually is like stairs that go down into the earth, okay. into the subway station. And it's really nice down there. I've done lots of subway riding in New York City. But it's very similar. You know, they've got all these like little art projects and stuff down there. They've made it look nice. You go down there. You, first of all. Does it smell like like it does in New York City because that's it's, a, it's a distinct it's, scent. I won't call it a smell, I'll call it a scent. It smells better. It actually smells significantly better oh, really? because it's newer. Okay. But anyway, so we get down there. You can easily get on without paying. I figured this out, but I did actually pay because you pay for little paper tickets and then you just kind of walk through with your stroller. Da, 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 and you, we get on there and Jesse's worried about the kids getting on the tracks and everything. Then we get on the you actual- put the kids on the tracks? We didn't. We just got inside the subway. Okay, good. We get on there and then we had a pretty uneventful trip uh, there to Union Station, but then on the way back, still taking pictures and videos of the kids experiencing public transportation. All right, guys. Then the next thing I know, uh, when we're coming back, there's a guy trying to get onto the metro and onto the subway, and he's kind of running behind, and the doors are closing, and he sticks his knee out. He just like comes up, and he's like, Psh! sticks his knee, and the doors close on his knee. Oh. And then... He's like, is he being dragged? No, no, it's about to start going though, and he's and he's just stuck and just his knees in there. And I'm like, I'm actually the closest to the door, but I'm sitting down and I kind of got my back to it. And right when I realized that the guy is, could die and I should probably do something, another dude calmly comes over there and pulls this little ball whoop, whoop, that's over the door, an emergency release. Huh? Whoop! You pull it down and the the thing comes in and the guy just gets in. I was well, like, how much is a ticket just for a knee? Because maybe he just wanted a discount. 10 cents or something like that? Yeah. I think it's $1.50 So regardless. it stopped. The train stopped. The train never got going. Oh. He and did then he, that. he gets in. And then it waited a couple of seconds. Was he then, crying? And then it goes. And he was like, thanks, man. He like, he's like, thanks, man. It was like, thanks for saving my life is what he should have said. But well, yeah. he, apparently this happens all the time. And then he goes and sits down. Blue as hibiscus on that. And then at one of the stops on the way back, we stop and... The guys, the, the, the guys like, please hold while we adjust the train. They need to adjust the position of the train. Yeah, that's not disturbing. And all these people are just like, uh, they're not, they're not going to take it. And they're all ready to get out. This is a stop where there's a bus. Do not adjust out. the train. They pull down that the little. The train need no adjustment. That little ball on this on the string that I'm talking about. They pull that and then they open the door and they all went out. And then the guy comes up, the operator comes over the intercom. He's like. Why do you got to go and pull the emergency ball? Now we're going to be here for a couple of minutes. And then so we wait there for about 30 seconds. Everybody's looking at each other. And then all of a sudden, I'm in the front car. Taking so, pictures. So the guy comes out. The operator comes out. He's like, why you guys got to do this? He says, why you got to do that? He edited himself? That's no, he actually did curse. And then another guy who's standing next door, who he said it right. He says, we didn't do that, man. The people who left did it. We're just, we're, <laughs> and everybody just kind of sitting there, kind of awkward. I was like, 
my kids are experiencing the city. This is great. They're learning something. They're growing up. You know, maybe somebody will get shot or something. You know, or mugged. No, not shot. You know, just maybe stabbed with like a pocket knife. Just something, just a little city fight that somebody will recover from. My kids are growing up right in front of because my eyes. Because it's a safe environment for your kids to learn that. Yeah, taking pictures. It was kind of like a ride at Disney World. Um, and then it was over and it was cheaper. It was much cheaper. It was actually cheaper than if we had driven down there to Union Station and back, to tell you mm. the truth. Mm. And no one would have cursed at you. And we got back, we, we took the bus back to our stop, we got off, we came back home, and I was like, guys, what'd you think? And Lot was like, can we not do that again? Really? But at least he had done it. And it's interesting because I took my kids and did the exact opposite. I went and I took the backpack with Lando in there and I went on this hike and I saw Three people besides my family the whole time. You know, no rubbing shoulders, no buying tickets, no none of that. But training my kids to, you know, to appreciate the grueling task of hiking as something to be experienced. Well, that's they can, they can you know, they need both. They need both ends of the spectrum. They need the city grunge and they need the nature. Spinning this episode to a close by spinning the wheel of mythicality. Thanks for suggesting your endings. Ah, uh, maybe I should get on this public transportation kick. Yeah, you, I think me and you ought to do it. Just go to lunch and take the train to, to lunch somewhere. Plot to kill the cameraman. Okay. Keep your voice low. Uh, See that guy behind the camera? Yeah, it's Jason. He's here every day. Yeah, I got an idea. What do you think we should do to him? Kill him. Okay, well, he, let's, well, let's uh, just stab we, him with a pocket knife, like he, you said. He edits this video, so he's gonna see this, so we should probably come up with a code word for kill. Or just... That no one knows about except the two of us. What about phlebotomize? Okay. Let's, for, let's phlebotomize Jason. How do you want to phlebotomize him? Well, I'm with a pocket knife, like I said, you know? It's gotta be a on pretty... A on a tram. A pretty big... We need like a hunting knife. I think he's listening to us right now. Forget about it. Yeah, bad idea.